third ball tether stack i hope you're having a great day today my patron andrew b also known as ab there's no c it's just ab remember a plus b always equals c ladies and gentlemen we got the dusty all the way from the back of the rudy's basement sorry about the dust we've got the core 2012 box opening today anthony i appreciate anthony andrew i appreciate you letting me open this box we're going to talk about this, everybody. Um, this is this is a very it's a very special set to me. Oh man, I love I used to love the way these booster packs looked. Man, they really made these things awesome looking. So Core Twenty Twelve was a very special product to me. It was one of the first mass box opening sets I ever did. If if the I can't remember if it was the first or second, but I loved I loved this product. I am so biased to it. I love this set. I love this year. I'll show you guys the common cards from the first pack or two. Kind of let you guys know. Infamous Mercy, the Angel's Mercy, the Mancer, always uh, beautiful with Rebecca artwork there. The Bear, uh, Rampant Growth, always popular. Unsummon, always popular. Oh, the Mana Lith in the common slot, always popular. And then the Uncommons, you got, oh, Infamous Skeleton there. You got Consuming Spear, pack one, Scramble Verse, terrible rare. And the Infamous Flying Robot Rudy Aliens, loved it. I love the way I just, I was a huge 2020, core 2012 was one of my favorite um, core sets. I just, I, I know they never went, went to the moon price-wise, but I just thought it was Bloodseeker. God, those cards used to sell so much, man. Lava Axe, Merfolks, Siren, Sphinx. Oh, Oblivion Ring, phenomenal uncommon on my bas my mess box. So back in the day, folks, I sold these for play sets, $4 for four rings. Dude, no joke. On a, on a three, 400 mess box opening, I probably brought in... I probably paid for six booster boxes just selling these rings, man. Oh, Jace Memory Adapt. Oh, Adapt. The JMA. There he is, man. Oh, that was one of the big hits back in the day. Oh, we do have a foil, sorry. Uh, a foil common. Beautiful foils. I love it. I thought the card quality and everything back then. I know it's so goofy to say. But back in, back in 2012, the card quality was quite good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to hang out in the basement. Uh, by the way, Stonehorn, digging a get a get a digging a get Terry. Uh, this card is even today. This is like this was a card I used to sell play sets for five dollars for for a common. No joke, everybody. Yeah, this was back in the day when common uncommon sold amazing. Carnage Worm, Flash Freeze, and the old Onomatopoeia. Not the greatest rare, and of course, there's a lot of advertising cards back then too. Uh, but yeah, it's just. You know, I remember these. this was before Wizard had price increases, so I think I was paying was it seventy three twenty six a box? It was before they went to seventy five and seventy seven seventy eight. This was a long time ago. The old Titanic growth, of course, Mind Rot, Infamous, Siren, Ooh, Singer, Vampire. Do you all really think my hair looks like that? Come on, be nice. Another Oblivion Ring, and the Infamous Sphinx, which has been reprinted a billion stupid times. Token and Planes. 
So, so far, nothing crazy. We've got a nice little Jace there. We've got some good common cards. Um, some nice um, uncommon Oblivion rings. I'll look at commons just for one more pack, then we'll stop looking at common. Uh, the Harvest, always infamous. And here we go, folks. Kite Shield, eh. Uh, beautiful. Be this was... This artwork, I used to talk to some other people about this artwork all the time. I was like, what is with this chick's outfit? Like, are they sucking on her in the middle? Are those protective... I, I don't know what was going on. We used to talk about that all the time back in the day. Magamonde. Oh, Solemn Simulacromania Scrabble Board. Um, before there was a million versions in print variants and extended arts and full arts. Very popular rare back in the day. Still a very popular rare all the way in 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Taste of Blood, beautiful artwork. Who did that artwork there? Howard, great artwork, man. Vampire, Worm, Golem, and Adaptive Automaton. Another fantastic, fantastic rare. You notice a lot of the good rares are, I mean, a lot of the good cards, they're rares. They're not Mythics. Anybody noticing that right now? Yeah, that was crazy, man. So I said, I don't really open a lot of these. I know, obviously, you guys see from the intro, I have a big position because I love the product. Alabaster Mage. Ooh, the Scepters. The Scepter of Empires. What was the other one? Was there a Throne? There was a couple different of those cards. Like, they go together. Oh, Grand Abolish. Is this still... I think this might be the most expensive rare in the set. Even in 2021, Grand Abolisher remains a power. Dude, this is an epic rare, man, for white decks. Dude, that is a great card. And like I said, some cards age really well. And here we are. I haven't opened one of these boxes. Oh, my God, the artwork on that thing. Um, I haven't opened these things in so long, and it still feels good, man. Like, the value, the pulls here, this still feels... I, I never like these different horn artifacts to gain a life thing. I didn't like them back in Alpha Beta days. I still don't like them. Uh, actually, the Dungrove Elders, this green... I used to sell these for three bucks a piece. I think I sold out. I sold all a couple hundred copies back in the day. Yeah. I know, I know you guys are not... <laughs> I know some of you out there going, what is he talking about? How do you sell so many cards? Back in the day, folks, Mind Control, uh, Great Sword, Good Uncommon, Elixir of Immortality, infamous, infamous artwork, infamous Uncommon. Uh, I used to sell these for a buck a piece or play sets for four bucks all day long. Quick Silver Amulet, another one of the best rares in the set. Holy smokes, this is a good box opening. We do have a foil, uh, yeah, the old ring flesh, nothing crazy there. But no, back in the, I'm telling you folks, like you're, I know some of you are watching going, wait a minute, how did he sell commons for four dollars? How did wait a minute, how did he sell uncommons for play sets for four dollars? I don't understand what's going on right now. How how was he selling all these rares for one, two, three dollars? Well, back in the day, that's it was normal. Call to the grave, great little two dollar black rare card back in the day. I, I mean, I know it sounds weird to you all right now. That's that's the point. That's the reason I like these throwback videos. Is the memory lane? This stuff gets lost in time, man. It's been ten years, man. Uh, Celestial Purge and the Blood Lord of Dr. V. One of the weaker mythics was always a couple dollar mythic. Never really did much. Uh, Jace over there is a mythic, though. Again, this was an era ten years ago where Jace anything. The name alone always made the card five to ten dollars, for the record. So, you have to remember, it was a very different time. Great Sword. Ooh, Buried Ruin. I forgot. I thought this was Core 13. Uh, M12 Buried Ruins. Uncommon cards. Oh, man, I used to sell these for $1.99, or instead of 4 for $8, it would be 4 for $6, man. Oh, another oh, Scrabble verse. It's still terrible. Crazy, man. Talk about nostalgia throwback, man. Ooh, Champion. Those cards sold great. Play sets of those for buck fifty, man. All day long. Circle of Flame, Angel's Feather, and <laughs> Royal Assassin. Always a kind of a bulky card, unless you got Alpha Beta. But very iconic. Always a fun little throwback card. See, I, I thought the core sets were well designed back. By the way, negates always sell. Um, you turn the frog, Rudy the Troll, Fireball. is amazing. Fireball's an uncommon. Honor of the Pure. Kind of like a crusade type card. So all white creatures get 1 1. Um, never was never really a big selling card. was never really a hot thing. I'll be honest with you all. I know Crusade's like an evil word and all that stuff, but it was it honestly is never really a major hitting card. No joke, folks. It never did much. And oh, Spirit Mantle, first appearance of the video. Am I noticing? I feel like I'm focusing more on uncommons. Great uncommon. Garuk's Horde, great little couple dollar rare. We do have a foil. Nice little uncommon Demon's Horn. See, that was the thing. Is you know, when you used to crack old magic packs, the opportunity for value and unique cards was very oh, firewalkers, man. Oh my god, great card again. Oh, uncommon, die like dude, they were that's what I'm saying. Like they loaded the uncommon slots. Ooh, vengeance, nice couple dollar rare. 
They loaded these things. Fire breathing. And, you know, that's something that a lot of people complained about, you know, after, like, the end of, like, like even Iconic Masters and Ultimate Masters and even the recent standard sets. They don't put the value in the common, uncommon slots anymore. Beautiful Miss Sarah Angel over there. Turn to Frog. Ah, Sun Petal Grove. Now, this is where I'm going to complain. Still can't stand land cycles in core sets. Land cycles in core sets are always stupid dumpster fire garbage. It irritates me every single time. I can't stand it. Ooh, smallpox. Great uncommon. And, oh, BOP, ladies and gentlemen. BOP. Amazing. Nothing to say. Absolutely amazing card. Oh, man. BOP never goes out of style. They've reprinted a million times. Overrun, Firewalkers, and Personal Sanctuary. Eh. And Foil. Ooh, Hunter's Insight. Beautiful Therese Nielsen artwork over here. Rebecca and Therese really were home run artists, including also Howard. Uh, great Uncommon. That was actually uh, one of the Uncommons that also used to sell. That's what I'm telling you. Like, I, I no joke. I remember getting 20% of the value of my boxes, Return of Capital, selling Common Uncommons back in the day, man. <laughs> the Satchel. This was a meme card. It was always like, oh, great, the Satchel. There was a, the Satchel and another one. We're always a meme card. Like, when we got him as a rare, we were pissed. Like, oh, God, another stupid satchel. Believe it or not, it's actually not that bad of a card. And actually, to this day, actually still sells a little bit. And the ghoul. Oh, God, what a trip down memory lane, man. Godly, everybody. Oh, it's just such a... Man, I just... Again, Andrew, I really appreciate you allowing me to open this box for you and uh, send you all the cards. It's just really... What a, what a, ugh, Goblin Grenade, our first appearance of the Goblin Grenade, man. Timely reinforcements! God, I forgot about that. Great Uncommon. Ugh, oh, and a Drowned Catacomb. And we do have a Foil. Ugh, foil Rare. Redirect, not the greatest. Never really, actually, actually, I don't really think it's a bad card, but not the greatest card, ladies and gentlemen. Never really financially did much, though. I didn't think it was a bad card, though, but. All right, here we go. Doubling chant. Nice little, uh, always a couple dollar. Kind of more towards the bulk rare. Never did anything. But that's the thing is, you know... Oh, man. I hated the land cycle, everybody. The land cycle drove me crazy. Phoenix. Nah. We do have a foil. And, oh, beautiful. Godly. Foil Island. Wow. Yeah, that was the thing is, uh, the land cycle was my number one pet peeve for core 2012, 13, 14, whatever. I hated the land cycle. I was so tired of them printing that stupid thing. Mana barbs, great throwback to the ABU days. Absolutely awesome. That was my, God, I used to just, oh, used to grind my gears every time we see those stupid rare lands. And we got a spider. All right, so we're getting, uh, we're down to the last about eight packs here, ladies and gents. Um, just, you know, just a nice, just a good video. It feels good, man. I know we haven't made a ton of money. Hey, the old Petrovoss. We used to call this guy the little bug. We, we used to, this was the other meme card next to the satchel. Of course, we'd get the bug, which actually, I still don't think it's a bad card. It was just kind of a meme. But we just kind of made fun of, like, every time you got that. It was like, it was like, it's like the dingus egg in the ABU days. Oh, you got a dingus egg. You kind of, you know, you scratched out. Ooh, Sun Titan. Titans were popular back in the day. Those giants and those titans, that was, I know today... You know, with Reprint City and the Titans been reprinted so many times and variants. I, I don't think there's any financial value. But back then, they were... It was important, folks. Oh, my God. Really? Did we hit every good rare in the set? The infamous Phantasmal Image. Oh, my God. Uh, probably the second or third most expensive uh, rare in the set. Holy crap. So we, did we, we may have gotten all the good rares in the set. Honestly, everybody. I think we may have hit them all. Our third rare land cycle. The only thing I can say is back in the day, getting those rare lands in that slot, you would sell, they sold for about $250 to about $4 between the highs and lows, depending on the market conditions. Um, so at least you would usually get, as a store, when you're paying like $2 and, I don't know, 20 cents a pack, at least you would get your money back on the pack. Rune Scar Demon, by the way, actually to this day, that actually holds some good value. Ugh, spider, really, a common spider. And by the way, I always like this. Look at, look at the packs. Look at the colors. Look how awesome those packs look. Absolutely amazing quality. It, I mean, that, that's the other thing that always, every time I open products and everything over the years, I just, it continues to hurt my head. Ooh, the Archon of Justice always sold pretty good. It continues to bother me, everybody, that the older the product, the better the quality. Like, it's just how, with new technology and everything, 
Hey, Frost Titan. Okay, we got Mythic number four. We got two actual Titans in this box opening. How are the older products with older technology made better? No printing issues. God, Lee, Dr. Gideon coming through and the foil uncommon. Wow. Holy smokes, this just turned into a five mythic opening. Like the quality of the cards in the ink, in the foils, in the booster packs are so good. Oh, redirect, that was our foil rare. Like, look at, look at the quality of these things. Like, there's never, like, when I did mass box openings of these core 2012s and 13s, and I mean, look at the, the, the colors are always vibrant. There was never problems. Oh, World Slayer, I remember that. It blows my mind how as time has progressed and Wizards raises prices and is making more money than ever, the quality is eroded downwards. Like, it blows my mind. Sorry, I'm ranting. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks again, Andrew, uh, Andrew B., Dude, what a fun video, man. What a good boxer. You hit, like, every good rare in a set, man. Holy smokes. And you swung with five mythics. We got a crappy foil rare, but, man, what a, what a good video, man. Hope you all enjoyed it. Enjoy your life. Enjoy magic. Remember, if you're not enjoying magic, you're not enjoying YouTube or the crazy people like me, you know, sometimes, you know, step away. Go outside. Dig a hole. Go be a carrot. Lick the driveway. Eat a piece of grass. Reconnect with the meaning of life, folks. I'm telling you. If you don't see it out there, you're not paying attention. Life is a beautiful thing. And the problem is, we're all addicted to these supercomputers in our pockets, and we lose sight of what's actually out in the real world. Remember that, everybody. Have a great day.